Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Diaries of Death Part 4 World of Warcraft Frost Mage series. We're trying to beat the game uh, without dying. It is time for the Western Plaguelands. Last time we've been in the Euro Crater. Uh, today we're going to go into the Western Plaguelands. I got a new buff called Crystal Force, which is uh, based on the couple of um, uh, the couple of crystals that I have uh, handed in. So we got Crystal Force as a as a buffing for spirit, thirty spirit for thirty minutes, which is great. We're also getting a couple of uh, extra Moro grains over uh, over time that we can hand in. So that's an ongoing quest item. We just yeah, are using all of our Yunguro soil. Okay, so let's talk about Western Plaguelands for a moment before we jump right into the action. For starters, a uh, difficult uh, zone in so far as it has a lot of um, high mob density. And uh, the biggest problem with it is if you're aggroing uh, something, typically more are coming along. Second uh, problem is the Scarlet Crusade is here, and the Scarlet Crusade uh, uh, falls under the category individually uh, doable, but they always start to gang up on you, and that uh, becomes a bit tiresome and quite frankly uh, difficult. So uh, they uh, are coming in larger packs. Here's one of their typical patrol. I'll mark that, but you can see it's uh, three mobs right away. Our first uh, quest for today will be uh, to burn down one of their camps. I jumped an arcane elixir. And you can see this is what we have to deal with. Just a lot of stuff, right? So let's uh, join me when I'm trying to unclog uh, this mess of a setup. The medics do have uh, healing which in itself is a bit problematic. Uh, the hunters are equally annoying. So we're pulling them away from uh, the camp and are then counting on, on our frost barrier to prevent most of uh, the damage. With a hunter, you always have the challenge uh, that the pet is uh, still there. So, as you can appreciate, if you pull two hunters, that's four mobs right there. Uh, so, that's a difficult uh, pull in itself. Luckily, we got Ice Barrier. Oh, one other uh, thing that I want to showcase is the Arch Dawn Commission. Not necessarily good against the Scarlet Crusade, but it is quite good against uh, Undeads because we can collect Arch and Dawn Commission tokens, which you can trade in for reputation. The reputation is, yeah, so and so. It's okay. Um, it allows to uh, you to enchant shoulders, which you otherwise could not enchant. Uh, typically with resistances uh, pre nax it is not that important but i want to get it to a level where i can kind of enchant my shoulders with uh, five uh, fire resistance just making the difference because uh, most of the enemies at the beginning of level 60 uh, will be fire based in some shape or form so naturally we want to counter that and if we ever uh, decide to uh, be a little bit more of a risk seeker and go for Molten Core, if that ever could be a, a possibility, then of course you want, uh, you want uh, fire resistance. Very good. So as you can see, it's almost like peeling back an onion, one layer at a time. This could be a double pull, for sure. Nope, it's a 
missing her, which is good. Maybe pull the hunter out a little bit more. Better be safe than sorry. Once he starts running, I don't want him to run into the others. Yeah, and on hardcore, of course, we're not doing any shady business, so no sneak around the tent and attack it from behind uh, type of uh, deal. Because all you need to do is burn it down and then place a banner. Theoretically, you kind of can do it with just pulling a little bit, but I don't want to uh, get any risks. So we're just going to clear it out completely. Good. Since we don't want to deal with uh, respawns, what you need to do is really continuously pull. Make sure that you're hitting all of those uh, mm, pulls. Yeah, that will be an annoying uh, one because it's going to be involving the hunter and that invoker. We're going to start with the invoker. Didn't exactly work out how I wanted it to work out. I bailed out uh, relatively early. Could have stayed in the fight, but yeah. Let's retry it. Alright, I almost got the invoker down. Unfortunately, as you can see, uh, respawns are starting to kick in. So. Let me clear out uh, the medic and then we're re-pulling uh, this. I didn't have counter spell up, which led to way too much damage that I had taken. And this time we're also going to have a bit of a different target uh, prioritization. Uh, we're going to go in and pull out the invoker plus the stupid dog. Careful to not to pull the patrol, always look behind you. down much better pull this time didn't even use a lot of consumables just bandaging up and we're good Well, I'm saying that and still need to use the mana crystal, but it is what it is. Three mobs. The hunter is a bit of a challenge. I need to uh, sheep them. Uh, they start becoming annoying with their uh, interrupts. And unfortunately, the invoker deals quite a bit of damage if left unchecked. All right, we're pushing in further into the camp. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I forgot uh, the mana crystal. Good, now we're ready. Let's hope that that is not pulling the other one. It is unfortunate. Might aggro uh, this guy. Gosh damn it, uh, these guys are annoying. Good. I started to re clear the entirety here. I will need to uh, deal with that medic first and foremost. And we're going to pull the rest of them far, far away. disappear and we're good stupid packs uh, that to be fair wasn't played as clean as I wanted it uh, to be played but it yeah still got the job done all right attempt number three third time is the charm as they say double hunter the game is not giving me a lot to work with today to appreciate why there are a lot of dead people here this camp is not easy super quick respawn and all of them need to be separated all right i'll clear this and then we finally burn it down very good so they are starting to respawn <laughs> banner here thank you very good good fantastic uh, better late than never is right over here in the house so we're going to do that next cool so let's start clearing up the house we're 10 minutes in and it's the first time that we're fighting against anything but the Scarlet Crusade. Yeah, that took a little bit longer than expected. To be fair in my defense, besides uh, having one pull that really didn't work out super well, uh, we were a little bit unlucky with the response and just the type of enemies, a lot of hunters there. If we can continue to single pull, things should be fine. So we're going to start uh, the better late than ever quest soon. Remember the 
these cauldrons. Uh, they are also difficult to clear. This is this was a prime location for AOE farming. I very much remember that. The only thing that was annoying were the casters. Here. But it seems as if they are just staying at the location. Fair enough. Yeah, you can see a stark difference between how the normal undeads of this level are damage wise and just hit point uh, wise and how the scarlet crusade is going about it uh i think i have not even taken a single point of damage but this might pull the ghoul lucky for us it did not just clearing a little bit so that I do have time to maneuver or room to maneuver. Good time for us to get into the house. Slavery cool. the little uh, stones for the Argent Dawn. And there's another sorcerer in here. I'll line of sight this guy. Alright, that makes it way easier. And that, I think, is a theme of the plague lands in general, eastern and western. You gotta fight for every inch. At least that's my experience. Even getting to a quest, then uh, to a uh, quest NPC requires you to go through undeads. So, better late than never. Um, uh, as to where the house is in the uh, delivered, the ghost remains uh, inconcisable. I think it was in here. Uh, for starters, definitely want to make sure that our way out is clear. I want to be trapped here. And then I think yeah, it's inside of the building. Wow, triple patrol. Okay, let's not pull these guys. Yeah, I 
that's not good. Losing the, the other caster. Ah, never mind. And we certainly don't want to to the Scarlet Crusade. That's a clean reset. That's a clean reset. What I could do though is uh, these guys are now fighting against undeads. So how about we're helping the undeads? rid of a couple of the Scarlet Crusade members. Reset. Good, but we got one of uh, them down the extent that they are getting attacked. I'll just wipe the patrol. You know what? Since it is two guys standing there, might as well. This here is uh, the absolute easiest way uh, to get to the building. for their stupid patrol here. Good. I, of course, needed to clear the outside here. Nice and slow. And we're going to go in. to resummon crystals. In case you're wondering why didn't I just evocate there and uh, kill him, that would definitely have been possible, but my rule of thumb is the following. Um, if you can uh, escape the situation uh, realistically without needing to trigger any major cooldowns, then you should always uh, go ahead and do that. I do have evocation ready in case something is not uh, well, so that'll help us. What is a bit concerning though is the Scarlet Crusade might soon um, recover from being killed and I think they would uh, respawn here so that could become an issue. And of course as you can see all of the undead start to respawn. That's what I initially meant. This zone really doesn't give you uh, a 
download for free, you have to really work. New rule coming up right there, so I need to kill them as well, but I, then I think I can move in. And when I'm saying you gotta clear out the entire area, I actually mean it. Look at that. Uh, all of these guys just respawned. Just for us to, to now be able to move in. Let's hope that the Scarlet Crusade isn't immediately respawning. I'll get to full mana and then we'll uh, go in. And in case the Scarlet Crusade spawns, we're going to take that right hand uh, side away here in between the houses. <laughs> The sorcerer, the one that we also killed, just uh, respawned. And there must be an interactable object in here. Let's hope hyper spawn is not a thing this time. I can hear uh, the skeletal, uh, the Scarlet Crusade, not the skeletal crusade, the Scarlet Crusade, right out there. Good timing for us to leave the area. Not running into them. Western Plaguelands. Isn't it great? Absolutely fantastic, right? I knew why I didn't like that area. I have distinct uh, memories of everything just trying to slow you down and get to your throat. Anyways, let's trade in the quest. Alright, so Scarlet Diversion allows us to get a couple of follow-up quests, which is great. Yeah, and I don't know, man, whether or not I should be disappointed about my performance in, by the way, this here is a huge clickbait, uh, Blood of Heroes, one to three high level mob spawn, when you're clicking that, they slow you and you're going to die, so high level mobs meaning like 60, plus, uh, 60 elites, so I don't know if I should be disappointed about my own performance here um, or if it is just harder than I remember but God, that was uh, rough the chem was quite rough and then uh, fighting alongside uh, these close uh, corridors was rough as well I think there is a reason why there had been many people uh, just getting killed all right cauldron next uh, so that'll be where we are going let's fast forward a bit 
And I think that'll be for now the last quest here because the others are elite and then we're getting up all the way to 55 and there is no need to do that because we still have Searing Gorge uh, which I haven't even shown you guys uh, which is a level 48 to 52 area so almost uh, missed out on that one but that would be a good change of pace because all of a sudden we're not fighting against like high level mobs but uh, instead against um, greener schmops, so that'll, that'll be good. I think the problem here in, in the Eastern Lakelands in particular is there are also a lot of casters with very nasty abilities, um, such as uh, Frostball. It doesn't look nasty on paper, but it is actually quite bad because when you're anyways in a troublesome situation and they prevent you from running away with a massive slow that can suck or magic missiles another underrated uh, spell so far as uh, if you are trying to line of sight them if they have locked in there's essentially zero casting time you're uh, continuing to take uh, damage so i do understand why people are dying here uh, the biggest uh, issue or challenge with this region though is the mob density. Like if you, if you uh, think that this here is high mob density, then well, think again because right here in this corner, okay, where we just fought, uh, there are four Scarlet Crusade members right here, uh, the, the one uh, patrol. Then on this little turf, because I cleared it, are uh, six additional mobs, three in here, four alongside uh, this column, and four in here. So on this small sector, and I'm not even counting all of the other mobs that are preventing you from uh, moving anywhere closer, in this small section we're already counting almost 20 uh, enemies, and they are respawning, like, fast. So... I need to drink, kill, drink, kill, drink, kill, and leave the bodies uh, unlooted for a while before I can. Before I can then uh, start killing the uh, the uh, actual targets, and then you loot, and the moment that you loot, you're already here. Uh, that more respawn is happening from uh, the outside. So, point in case. I'm not complaining about it, but it's just a... that's the reason why it is uh, difficult. I'm of course asking myself what could I have done better. Some of the pulls, yes, I could have played the cooldowns a bit better. Uh, got unlucky with some of the resists and just some of the enemies that were there. Uh, and as always, if you cannot single pull, things are becoming way, way more difficult. Even in this small bracket, that's like what two four six three more nine enemies that i killed just to get to the cauldron not bad Fabulous. So, I'm going to bring this back. Quest done. And we are also done for now. Although some of the quests now are yellow, but keep in mind they are all level 55. And we can simply do the Searing Gorge, which we will do in the next episode. I think today was uh, one of those episodes which were a little bit more hard fought uh, than uh, normal. A uh, little bit longer gameplay, uh, also as normal. But yeah i hope you nevertheless enjoyed it we dinked to level 53 i think we deserved uh, that one and uh, we are going to see each other in the next episode uh, i hope uh, you're staying well until then uh, this frost mage certainly is and uh, that's about it return to the bulwark and we're out thank you for watching very nice
All right. Take care. Bye-bye.